Okay, in terms of our access control tools and particularly intrusion detection systems, um, the position of the sensor uh, determining network versus host-based intrusion detection systems is not the only division. Uh, there is also the uh, identification engine, the, the uh, pattern matching engine, if you will. Uh, this is the, the internals, the guts of the, um, of the actual detection of what's going on when the sensor feeds the information to, uh, to the engine. And so we've got uh, uh, a variety of pattern matching engines that go into this. Uh, there is simple rule-based intrusion detection. And this is going to be, um, you know, a, a fairly simple set of rules. Now, um, this is more rules in, in the sense uh, that we'll get into when we get into to rule-based uh, access control. Um, but... Uh, in a sense, it's going to be very similar to, although not identical to, uh, signature-based intrusion detection. Now, uh, a rule uh, can be a signature. It, it can be uh, perhaps something else, um, something that's a, a bit more general. Um, and, and so we can have uh, uh, various types of, of rules. Uh, but let's... Um, well, let us go on then to, to look at signature-based. And this is a, a specific signature of a specific attack. Um, it may be a specific type of named attack. It may be a generic description of a, uh, a type of attack. It may, but it's, it's some signature, some pattern uh, that can be described. Uh, a whole bunch of uh, attempts at a login. Um, you know, that, uh, somebody that's uh, definitely trying a, you know, a denial of service attack in terms of uh, filling up all the ports uh, uh, that are available to this particular system. Um, a, uh, well, a, a specific attack, a, you know, well, that, uh, I suppose I, I was going to save this till the end, but let's, let's raise it right now. Um, look at the, uh, the three different types, uh, and there really only are three different types, of uh, uh, malware detection. And that is uh, signature-based. Um, and uh, change detection uh, or, uh, some, well, sometimes called integrity uh, management. Um, and uh, okay. Uh, that's okay, and then we got the uh, uh, we've got behavior uh, based in intrusion detection. So uh, then, uh, well, it's easy enough to see that the signature based intrusion detection is is very similar to the uh, signature based malware detection, and in fact, uh, this not only gives us uh, the detection that something is going wrong, but what in fact it is. That there is a specific signature that is represented of a specific type of attack, um, possibly even a specific type of attack software. Uh, and, and certainly that's uh, the advantage in, in the uh, malware detection. Um, but uh, 
there are forms of uh, detection that are not specific, that are, are uh, saying that something is wrong, but no, not necessarily identifying specifically what is wrong. And in, in that regard, uh, we have uh, statistically based um, or uh, anomaly detection. And this is, this is very similar to the change detection in malware detection and malware analysis, that we have a, um, uh, a situation where a change has been made where no change should be made, that a, a system operating uh, properly uh, should always be in a, a certain situation and uh, our, our normal traffic when we're, we're dealing with uh, network traffic, we're dealing with uh, communications with a machine, uh, should always comprise certain types of packets, certain rates of packets, and if we see changes in that regard, then something is wrong. Now, we may not know specifically what is wrong. We may not know specifically what kind of attack is being made, but this change indicates that something is wrong. So, although we do not know uh, what attack is being mounted against us, we do know that an attack is. And therefore, uh, we can take certain steps. We, and, and certainly in, in terms of raising an alert, raising an alarm, uh, giving uh, operators a chance to address uh, the fact that there is a problem. And so uh, the anomaly detection systems or statistically based uh, detection systems, um, that's very similar to the change detection that we have in, in terms of malware. Now then, there is uh, our other sort of uh, rule base. Again, not something that uh, identifies specifically what attack is happening, but um, when we see behaviors that should not be happening, that are uh, uh, indicating that something is wrong, then yes, okay, we have yet another uh, indication something is wrong we do not know necessarily what we do not know necessarily what type of attack is being mounted against us but we do know that we are being attacked that something is wrong and so again uh, this is uh, similar to the uh, behavior detection analysis that we will see at various times in terms of the uh, 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 in terms of malware and, and so you know a, a similar type of operation there where uh, no we don't know exactly what type of attack it is but we know something is wrong and therefore we should raise an alert and somebody should deal with it.